know about the album? Uh, that's a tough one because I think that one of the main things I try to do in my art is to really allow the listener their own assessment and their own interpretation. I, want, I don't want to tell them, I mean, yes, this is a, ultimately an extremely personal record for me, but I don't want them to know exactly what I wrote about because I want them to apply it to their own situation. Um, it's a, the type of music I love. I love uh, singing this music. I'm going to love touring this record. But, um, I mean, what can I say? It's my art. What do you ask of yourself as, as a lyricist? Do you, again, plunge back into yourself? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I go into such a funk when I write lyrics, and I have to be completely alone, and I usually get really weird. It's like a storm comes over me. It's like when in L.A., when there's an earthquake, it just stops, everything stops, and there's this real sort of eerie void or vacuum in the air. That's sort of what happens in my head when the lyrics come. Would you be surprised if they didn't? I would be very sad if they didn't. Sometimes they don't, and that's, that is my perpetual desire, is to um, keep feeding whatever feeds me. Um, keep, uh, you know, replenishing the sources that, that allow me to be creative. And, you know, that's my goal now. It's not to sell a million records. It's not to buy a Porsche. It's not, it has nothing to do with that. To stay creative is my goal. To stay productive and creative. That's the biggest thing in my life. And experience life. And experience life and love. Are you nervous about the album being released? Fundamentally, no, because I am ultimately proud of this record. I did my best. I did not compromise. I did my best. I suffered and I conquered. Um, I feel confident that it's a good record. Uh, I found out I got a couple of bad reviews, so you go, yeah, okay, I'm nervous now. But ultimately, no, I did my best. Ah, just a kiss. Yeah.